welcome, welcome, welcome. Come, come, come on in. Come on, come on, come on in. And have a seat. What up, y'all? What up? Thanks for tuning back in. If this is not your first time, thank you for coming on back with us. If it welcome is your first to time, my cup. appreciate you. Yes, appreciate like, you. Like, 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 Sam said, we are within my cup where we aim to restore, renew, reignite the everyday woman, baby. Mm-hmm. So, um, before we get into our topic on today, on today, <laughs> uh, what we gonna we gonna introduce our cups? What's, what's your cup like today? Oh, let me see. I was feeling like. You know, it's been raining here a lot. It's not the best light. Mm. Mm. But you got to do the hand behind like, like they do on the... Like they be doing on the... Um, yeah, yeah, There we go. There we go. There, there we go. There we go. Live in, Live the, in the sunshine. sunshine. Yeah, and that's been what raining That is so a sunshiny much. cup. That's a sunshiny cup. I tell you what. It's some sunshine in my cup. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. That's, that's <laughs> nice. Um... <laughs> My cup is in tribute to what we generally should be doing on all of our shows. But okay. today is a little different one. But this one, it's a, it's a clear double insulated cup. She got, she clear because we want to be clear. Scotch tape, transparent, see-through. Yes. And she's layered, double insulated. And, you know, because we got layers. So. No, we don't. <laughs> Girl, go and mess that cup up to the thing. Right and this is, this is this is so I love this cup. I just, <laughs> I just love this cup. Yeah, I only really want people to know what's in my cup, so true, but this ain't about a little uh, yeah. water and club soda. Um a little lime. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But don't uh, worry about what's in her cup though. Don't worry about it. Right. Gotcha. Don't you worry about that. Because we're gonna talk gotcha. about <laughs> some stuff that's been in our cup for years. Yeah. And when we get to this older age or this more wise wisdom, um, womanhood, adulthood, we're like, huh, mm-hmm. man, I wish I would have known. Oh, I wish I... Hindsight is twenty twenty. That's what they say. Hindsight, 2020. 2020. I wish like, somebody would have told me. <laughs> something. Or they told you something and you're like, huh? What? Whatever. You can Don't receive it. it. I can receive right, it. Right. Time. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Hmm. Yeah. I gotta make my own experiences mm-hmm, and things mm-hmm. like that, girl. Gotcha. I got a, I got a whole. I know you got a list, and I, you know, I, I got a list too. I didn't think I was gonna have a list like not like this. You know, when you start to write and it start expressing, dear <laughs> journal, it's a journal. It's like, ooh, dear diary. I opened up, right? I, I didn't mm-hmm. open up. Well, I like ooh, when you get somewhere and be still. Oh, get somewhere and be still. Now that's now that's a word right there. Get somewhere and be get, still. Get somewhere and sit down. Be well, still. Yeah, with a candle, some music, some nice little along with your thoughts. Yeah, quiet, with your thoughts, yeah. quiet like, like and like. Man, I wish I. Was. <laughs> <laughs> so, but mine are gonna be all over the place. I, 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 I mean, I, I. But tell the people what's up. What, you, what we talking about? What we talking oh, about? Oh, my bad. So, <laughs> what's <laughs> what's laid on our hearts on today is oh, wow. you know what we would and I, I did start off by saying it I went somewhere else sorry y'all I do that um we're talking about what we would tell our younger self so um oh. yep just some things either we've been through and like mm-hmm. man or we want to share with our children um right. or just women and kids and just you whoever we come through in, in life like I got a little ah mm. what's that been there done that bought the t-shirt yeah, bought t-shirt you know, if I'd have known, if I'd have known then, what I, I know now, know now, yeah. Lord, and, and you know, when you raise raising children, you just try to like try to stop it, but you know, you can talk and you, you know, can you share. St- stop the pain. Stop them from going through. Yeah, you know, half some of the, half stuff. the battle, some mm-hmm. of the stuff that we've gone through. But yep. in actuality, and now that I'm a adult, I can see it now because, like I said, mm-hmm. hindsight 2020. Actuality. Mm-hmm. Everybody got to live their own. They do. You know, they got to they got to go through their own trials, tribula- mm-hmm. tribulations. They got to live it themselves. Because mm-hmm. we, you can tell somebody all day long. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. This mm-hmm. is going to happen. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. This is going to happen. Mm-hmm. But until you actually live it, 
breathe it, mm -hmm. it makes no sense. Makes so. none. Like in, in maybe in one end or the other, maybe it's staying in this ear, but I'm a I'm a listen to my own ear, and then later right. on, it's like, right. oh, because right. we think we know everything. We know Everybody. we young. We know everything. Mm -hmm. Couldn't tell me nothing. Mm -hmm. Can't so, tell yeah. me nothing. I want to do what oh, I yeah. want to do. We're just talking to our, our younger selves. Well, mm -hmm. Note to self. You know, you ever hear somebody say, note to self. I need to do that. Note to self. So, yeah. Note to oneself. Note to self. Note to self. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So, uh, what, you, what would you call your younger self? I was thinking about that. You know, I didn't fully embrace the uniqueness and the love I had for my name mm. as a young as the young. I wanted to be like a Keisha. Ashley. Oh, okay. Uh, a lot of them. Oh, a lot of them. I don't know. Like I just didn't. Under, I just didn't understand the. I didn't understand the. I didn't understand at that point like what mm -hmm. it's like to be just unique, different. Right. You know, because right. I'm the only Staten. For the most part, that I know, I think I know like one or two, but I met them later on. One in life. or two. Oh, God. Yeah, really. Yeah, met them later on in life. But anyway, so okay, my right. grandma called me Staten doll, and mm -hmm. kind of stuck. And now that she's not here, I really like, you know, mm -hmm. I like, I like hear people say it's satin doll. It made me remind, yeah. it reminds me of her. So mm -hmm. I'll probably call my younger self set, set, satin doll, something like, like that. Oh yeah, we like satin doll. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Girl, mm -hmm. girlfriend. Girl. So yeah, what'd you call your, what would you call your younger self? What's, what's your name for you? Well, I'm just going, my uncle, because I never had a nickname. Like, how do you, how do you give a nickname for Joy? Like, <laughs> Why? Because it's short, Joy. One syllable, you Joy. Can, do you remember the syllable game? Yes. Everybody going around with these long names, like. I'm like, done. Joy. <laughs> See. Three letters. I, I, what? I, okay. So, but um, my mother had a name. She never called me that. We ain't go there. Um, my uncle called me Baby Joy, and to this day, he still Baby calls Joy. me that, and I, I just. You know, it was just like, oh. It's endearing. It's sweet. Yeah, yeah that means yeah. it's home. Yeah. yeah. Like, I remember when he called me that, I was the, my grandmother on my father's side, mm -hmm. what, six, seven, six grandchildren, I don't know. But for a minute, I was the youngest until the later, the later three came in. So there was um, no other joy, though, so, right? No. no. Okay. No, no. We do a lot. Of, I ask that because my family, oh, we do a yeah. lot of renaming. We right, got a big right, Pam, right. little Pam. We got a big yeah. Claire, little Claire. Like we do a lot of renaming. Big, big mm -hmm. Henry, little Henry. We got a lot of mm -hmm. different names. So I was just wondering. No, the one and only. So that's what I would call her, and I would get down. I'm gonna get down in her face, get on her knees, and talk to her. That's how I'm gonna talk to her. And how she be looking like this? Like, yep. Like she doing this. That's what she doing. Mm -hmm. but, um, I heard you. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. I'm okay. gonna get down in her face. I'm gonna get down in her face. I might, I might even do, you know. This lady crazy. She crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, you know, what you got? Like, what were some things that you wish someone told you, or they did tell you? You were like, ah, yeah. Like, like just like you. Like when I started to write, like mm -hmm. I actually like took some time to write a note to myself. I even went and looked at like some old things I have a like these two journals that I kept we, mm -hmm. that I these little books I used to write in because I wanted to be a poet <laughs> I thought I was a poet oh. but I used to write all these little that right I used to write things in I actually had written something to myself back then um that I pulled some things from not more like a checklist mm -hmm. but it's I mean it's so many things that I would have given my I would have told myself like my list goes on and on and on, on and on, and on, on. Yeah. Oh, so I'm not gonna bore y'all with you know all yeah. of those but just a few I'm pretty sure as we as we talk more will come mm -hmm. up but I think one of the main things that I would have that I would have um told myself was give your two things give your best in everything in all things don't half-ass it like quit half-assing to mm -hmm. make people feel comfortable mm -hmm. I did that a lot like I was a smart ass in, co in, in elementary school. I was like the teacher's pet. I knew everything. I was smart. It came to me yeah. easy. And so, and at the time, my grandma was like, stand all, you know, you need to stand out. You know, you smart, be smart. Let mm -hmm. everybody know you smart. But as I got older, I think I kind of took it as like a, 
I don't want, I don't want to stand out because people think I'm smart. And I don't want people to think I'm being a smart ass all the time because I know the answer. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of feel like I kind of dumbed it down a little bit Mm -hmm. so that I wouldn't be like the first person to raise their hand for the answer. The first person to say, oh, I know, you know, so I would have told myself, you know, give your best at everything. Because once I started to, you know, dumb stuff down as I got older, I started getting lazy. I I was, I was okay Mm -hmm. with not being Mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. Mediocre. Yeah. I was okay with just being regular, you know? I ain't want to be too, too smart. One going to be dumb because it was too hard for me to be. It, it's too easy for me to be smart. So give your best. Give your best. Everything you put your name on, everything that you that comes from you, make it your best. Give it your best effort, your best try. Give it your best. That would be the one. The one. And the two would be don't rush adulthood. Like, I was so anxious to get out of my mama's house. I was so anxious mm. to get through college. I was so anxious to be mm-hmm. on my own. Mm-hmm. I rushed through, you know, trying to get to adulthood that I didn't, I don't think I spent a whole lot of time just enjoying yeah. being a kid, mm-hmm. you know, being, just being a kid. I'm like, I can't wait to be grown. I can't wait. Well, I, what I could, what I didn't know was I was going to be grown and be paying bills and shit. Mm. So wait on that. <laughs> I could have waited. Yeah, uh, on that part of adulthood. So those are one of the two things that really stuck out at the top of my list is giving my best, giving my best in everything that I do, and and stop trying to rush being grown. Hell, enjoy being a kid. Yeah, yeah, because you grow more. I'd have you... stayed there a little longer. Yeah, I stayed there a lot longer. <laughs> a little longer. Because you you are an adult longer than you are a child. And you, you know so... you don't you don't know that at the time. All I could think no. was my mom, my mom, crazy. Freedom. I gotta get out mm-hmm. of the house. Freedom. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to be grown. Got to get out of here. Mm-hmm. Freedom got a price on it, though. I am just playing. Mom, you went crazy. <laughs> I am just, just playing. Don't come for us in the comments. Don't, hey, Mom. I am just playing. She mean it. She, she, you know she's crazy. Still, girl, you crazy, girl. girl. No, I'm still scared of her, okay? <laughs> um, uh, where I want to I want to tell. I thought about something today. And I was mm-hmm. like, ooh. Mm, I don't know if I if I was told this or, or where I came up with this from, mm-hmm. but this makes a lot of sense, and this has to do with relationships. Um, matter of fact, a what do you call? Well, I guess maybe you could apply to any type of interpersonal relationship, mm-hmm. but um, more so the boyfriend girlfriend partnership type thing. Don't be someone. Everything. <laughs> That is powerful. Like that, that's <laughs> not nah, nah, that's powerful. Yeah, yeah. That's for, something that's that's powerful. And I don't think you as an as a child, you wouldn't you wouldn't have been able to receive nope. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's powerful. Oh, that's good. No, nope, but that's what I'm gonna tell my kids. Mm-hmm. Um, because for one reason, if you somebody's everything, what what they got going what they got going on? Right. Nothing. All they, all they hope and 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 motivation and and is in you, huh? Is in you, right? And so that leads to, for me, I, I mean, I just thought about this, I think earlier today, but like, what that says to me is that this person, because you are their everything, you aren't allowed to flourish. You aren't allowed mm. to go off and do what you need to do for you because this person is like, no, you're mine. Mm-hmm. This is you. I can't be the separation anxiety or issues or control, right, right, right. being right. controlled, manipulated. Like mm-hmm, that's what that mm-hmm, means to me. Mm-hmm. And so it, it sounds good, like, oh baby, you my everything. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Seriously, because I got I got stuff I gotta work on. And you know, um right. yeah, and I'm not nobody to be looked up to or praised or you know, or thought. Well, if you put everything they put everything on you, then damn it. Yeah. How like, how do you how do you if you you if you somebody else everything mm, what are you to yourself right? Yeah. I can't be your everything and I can't and me for me. Yeah, I I can't don't put that like don't put that pressure do I don't don't put that pressure on me. Right, right, okay? right, right. Yeah, I gotta breathe. Though. I have to breathe. Yeah, and it's okay for you to do your own thing. It's okay for yeah. you to do what I need to do to satisfy. This, mm. But. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's 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 good that that's quite powerful though like i said that's mm. that's a lot it's scary 
So you mean to tell me now this on the other end of the spectrum, but it's real. But because, you know, you're dealing with your whatever demons you got. But like, let's say I, I do something and I don't become your everything or I just it's no more. Or would you be OK? Like, would you get along with life like that? No, yeah, I don't want, yeah, yeah. I, 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 don't love me to death. Red flag. Me. Right. That's what you. Yes. Red flag. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Red yeah. flag. Don't be out here yeah. saying, oh, you my everything. Don't don't say that. Wow. I think I just said that yesterday. <laughs> For real? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, was your anniversary? Was it because of your anniversary? Your anniversary? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I did just say that yesterday. We say that because we mean something else. We just don't break it down. Right, okay, um, gotcha. But yeah, yeah, you ain't, yeah you, ain't, you ain't stuck. You ain't trying to dim your lights and, and try to be oh, off no. of him. Well, we've been in this thing far too long at this point. So been that thing, been in that thing, right in it out. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that was my that was top of the top. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Some other ones I had, they're like sayings to where I wish I would have told myself or did or what I heard, and I'm like, um, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I think this might go on to what you were saying about you were dimming your light because you're smart and you didn't want that to come off as me being uh, you being like smart ass or know it all yeah um you know so I said if what did I say oh um you don't need to be ashamed of your background or your blessing do not be ashamed of that. Whatever that is. Oh my God. I have thought, yeah, you you hit you hit you hit something then. That okay. and I, that speak that speaks to that speaks to me. That, that definitely speaks to me. Oh my God. That definitely speaks to me. Mm-hmm. And just being ashamed of where you not maybe ashamed, but just like not readily. I don't know. That's that's a loaded, that's that's a loaded topic. Be. That's something. That's it something that be. we will have to talk about on a separate episode. It's a whole that's, topic. That, that is a loaded topic for me. So okay, not not maybe not ashamed of my. And when I first met my husband, mm-hmm. like he he lived in a house. You know, his mm-hmm. parents were still married. Um, you know, I just you know from what I could see on the outside, he was my boyfriend. I mean, we were just dating at the time, um, and we were in college. Mm-hmm. But I was like him coming up here to see my folks, like. I, I, my parents weren't married anymore. Um, my mom worked all the time. We ain't lived in like no house, no bed, mm-hmm. house, nothing like that. You know, yeah. we were, we lived in the hood, you mm-hmm. know, while I was proud that, you know, it, this is ours this is home for me. It's yeah. home based. I'm comfortable here, but mm-hmm. I didn't know it, I wasn't necessarily ashamed of it, but it was like, a how he going, what he going to think about this, Thank you me. know? Yeah. What are you gonna think about that? So that part. But so yeah, that kind of hits home for me. Yeah. Um that's good. Yeah, because you know, oh, why did I write that down? I guess because I think because I think that goes into hold on, did I have something on here about girl, you don't need to be no thug? Um uh, <laughs> you got that in there too? You wanna be a thug? Wait a minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. What is going on right now? <laughs> well, you might need to you might need to talk about that a little further. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I wrote actually wrote that down. Nah, that ain't right. I don't see thug nowhere. I don't see thug a thug in here. <laughs> Wait a minute, so you want to be a thug, baby? You want to no, be a thug, a- missus? <laughs> you want to be gangster boo? Then what you wanted me? You was too small to be thug, baby. <laughs> So like, um, I think like, like you, I appreciated my parents for the position that they were still trying to put us in, Mm -hmm. but at the same time really were, could have, I don't want to say better, but maybe a different lifestyle if, I don't know what I'm saying is like different things. Yeah. Yeah. Like we, mm-hmm. yeah, my parents are married. Um, 
we didn't we didn't own our own home. We didn't own our own home. Um, my parents struggled with things so financially mm-hmm. and, and struggled. Um, mm-hmm. We ain't had cable growing up, couldn't afford it. Right. Um, where, but I was living in an area where that's that that's strange. Norm. Yeah, that's strange to not have mm-hmm. cable. To oh, that was strange. See, that was yeah. not my that was not my case. Yeah. That was that was strange. Okay. Um, so. So where you lived, that wasn't the norm because that right. was the norm for us. Yeah, there suburbs. It was suburbs, like suburbia, like all day. But um, but my parents kept us there because it was a suburb. And instead of being somewhere else, you know, they kept us in the same school district that we were used to. Mm-hmm. Um, and so just being in different, and after you know, after high school, just um, graduating and meeting different people from different backgrounds, mm-hmm. it's like okay, I'm from here. I go somewhere else where it may be, what's the word? I don't even know what I'm trying to say or look for, but I'm in another environment where because you because of where I'm from, my parents together, you you think I'm here. You think I had it all. You heard me just say that, like I mentioned that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like they're still struggling that. And I feel mm-hmm. like people aren't receptive to it's a misconception. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. And so you wanna adapt to maybe where you are because you can relate. Yeah, um, look better. To yeah, you can relate to someone who may be, mm-hmm. I don't want to say less fortunate because that not, might not even be the, the word, but it just feels that way. But anyway. So, so you're saying y'all live one place, mm-hmm. but you felt like you connected more with those. No, not necessarily. That didn't live? Well, not, not connected. It's just that. Um, or identified. Not even that. It's just, okay, so. You go, someone thinks you're from the suburbs. They think they think mm-hmm. they think you have it all together back in the day, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, you stay there? Okay, that must mean y'all got money or y'all got this, y'all got that. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. at times we didn't have transportation. Like we we struggled. And yeah. as opposed to that being like if I was in the inner city, that would have been the norm. Right. That would have been okay. Right. Because that's what generally could ha- typically happen. Right. Um, but as I got older and started um, just having different relationships with people from different backgrounds, mm-hmm. um, different, I don't want to say better, but more financially stable versus yeah. less financially stable mm-hmm. or, educa- mm-hmm. or education. You you know, you feel like there's some things that, stigmas that you may have about me and I may either that stigma ride mm-hmm. because I'm gonna let you think that because you think that's better or, um, you know, or you feel like I can't identify with you because of where my my right. zip code. Like, so anyway, it, and I, that that then you don't share or open up about who who you are. So, gotcha. Um, and don't be ashamed. Either oh, you're way, not living be, your true identity. Yeah, that I guess. Yeah, that part. Gotcha. But don't be sense. afraid of of right. Don't be ashamed. Mm-hmm. Um, or um, of what you do have and what you don't have. Like, right. Ain't no shame in right. that. Ain't no shame in it. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> girl, I got some civil stuff on here too. Like, um, don't let strange people ride in your car. <laughs> don't let people who you acquaintances that you know through somebody. Else Everybody ain't your friend. That part. I tell it. my kids this right now to this day. And of course, they don't understand it. But I tell They're my like, son oh, this all the time. Enough. Everybody is not your friend. Friend. Not sure. I really want to cuss, but I ain't gonna cuss. Mm. Everybody ain't your friend. Okay. Mm-hmm. Everybody ain't your friend. Mm-hmm. And that now that's one thing. That's one thing that I, I wish I would have told myself. Yeah. You know, you'd be so naive to mm-hmm. other people. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Yeah. I got something friend. on here that that kind of relates to that. Like mm. I put guard your heart, take care of your heart. Take care of your heart. Mm-hmm. Um, won't even need no story behind it. Okay. That's just that. Take care of your heart. Mm-hmm. Take care of you. Take care of your feelings. Take care of how you feel. Like, take into account of how you feel. Like, sometimes, you know, when things happen, mm-hmm. um, you know, situations, just things that happen just along the road of life. We, we like to think about other people and how other people feel. Mm-hmm. 
we very rarely think about ourselves. And Mm -hmm. I'm one of those type of people, even to this day, I think more outwardly than inwardly. Mm -hmm. I think Mm -hmm. about how, you know, how somebody else is going to feel about this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody else's heart, Mm -hmm. somebody else's feelings Mm -hmm. versus taking care of me and taking Mm -hmm. care of my heart and guarding my heart. Because at the end of the day, that's all I'm left with. Yeah. So that was one thing that I would I wish I could have told myself and probably learned earlier in life. And then maybe I would have. No, I, I take it back. Mm-hmm. Everything is everything is you learn for a reason. Things happen for a reason. And I it, had I not gone through the things that I've gone through as it relates to matters of the heart, mm-hmm. um, I wouldn't be who I am today. So. Maybe I, it wasn't meant for me to learn then. Mm. It wasn't meant for me to learn then. So, yeah, that was that. I, um, it's like you said something about guard your heart. Oh, with, but with, and with that, like, I'm learning this now. Well, not even learning. I, I practice it now. Um, because I feel better when I when I release it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's and it's I, I guess it's got something to do with your heart. To me, it does like it's my whole being, but. Mm-hmm. To release how you genuinely feel about it, to feel about a situation, just yeah, just instead, like instead of keeping it bottled up, yeah, it tied, yeah. yeah, yeah, expressing yourself, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and then it even gotta be for you trying to change somebody. This is I have to interact with you on a person to person, hundred percent, um, real level. You say, oh, I keep it, keep it one hundred. Do they still say that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know they got the 100, like, you know, the, the oh, little yeah, emoji. Yeah, on the phone. Oh, emoji 100. Is that oh. what they got? Is it emoji? Emoji. emoji. Mm-hmm. They probably got it on the emoticon, too. Is it emoticon yourself? With your, your caricature with this? Is that what it? All right. Um, hmm. We can't hear you. I said, don't worry about that. Oh, mm. now I heard you. Don't worry about that. Hey, anyway, <laughs> go ahead. I was showing my age a bit. Don't worry about it. Though. It's okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, you just to, and in order to have a a I'll call it a tension free, stress free, free space free. with somebody. Free, mm-hmm. free your mind. You ain't taking them space in my mind because I'm thinking about something I should be saying instead of just saying it. Mm-hmm. Release it. Release that thing. I think the piggybacking off of that don't worry about what other people think about you mm. if you happy and healthy say opinion <laughs> you know what I'm saying like you happy you healthy you like how this look you like how that outfit look on you mm-hmm. you like how you know this person make you feel you Ooh. like how going to this class, you know, make you feel, maybe it's not a popular opinion, you know, maybe somebody else on the outside might think something totally different of it, but Mm -hmm. you're happy, healthy, you're well, you're whole. Talk to my people. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I hear in my head when you said that, that uh, Snoop Dogg song when he was on uh, No Limit. Cause I'm down for my... Hey, I ride for, yeah. For my, you know they yeah, play yeah. that every every night in the club at H. I went to HBCU, so they play that. Girl, night. clear the flow. Where does this kick, girl? <sighs> yeah. So <laughs> long as you happy, healthy, or this person makes you feel happy, healthy, mm-hmm. it's two people in a relationship. Two people, yep. like physical people in a relationship. Mm-hmm. You can't be considering what other folks' opinion of the person that you mm-hmm. you know decide. Mm-hmm. Not even just like a relationship, like you know, a love relationship, even just like a friendship, you know, those type of relationships. Like, do what you need to damn do. Stop taking <laughs> into other other folks' opinion. And, 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 a- and, a- little satin, little sat, sat, satin dog. Yeah, yes, yes. One more thing. One more thing. Younger mm-hmm. self, me, mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. Stop taking advice from folks that ain't never did none of that shit you asking them about. <laughs> You know, if somebody want to get their opinion, like you get, you know, your opinion. Oh, we do we this, we going through this and our marriage and blah, blah, blah. Folks got all the opinions in the world that ain't never, mm-hmm. ain't been married, ain't going to be married today, tomorrow, nor next year. 
but they got mm-hmm. all the opinions and they got all the advice in the world quit taking mm-hmm. advice from folks quit listening mm-hmm. and, and start learning how to cut people off when they start talking about that b s okay nope no thank you i'll call you right back you know what okay I, i'm sorry hold on. I, I, hey, I, hey i'm gonna go i gotta I go, gotta, I gotta go. Yeah, or go. you can be real blatant with it you know mm-hmm. what? i don't even want to hear that no thank mm-hmm. you yeah. Thanks. Thanks for no thank. thanks. I ain't for really asked you for that but, advice, so it's kind of unsolicited. Um, unsolicited advice. Leave folks in their unsolicited set. Set, baby, baby girl. Leave the folks on that. Leave that. And it gets um, better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Life gets better. Yeah. Stop dwelling. Stop. Stop. Stop holding on to those difficulties. Are only temporary. Temporary is the it word. Gets, better it gets Temporary better words. those trials tribulations those things you're going through temporary so on um, last forever it gets ooh, better it's better mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's the word i heard a word yesterday about being temporary i also um reactions emotions and feelings temporary so um, don't base you know, don't base no decisions yeah. make decisions on these Making permanent decisions on temporary feelings. Yes. Don't do that, girl. Girl. Uh, baby <laughs> Joy. Baby Joy. And this for, is this for Satin Dog, too. Okay, let us know. Listen up, y'all. Okay. They listening. They I'm rolling in. my neck. I can't do it no more. Ooh. Uh, growth. Growth. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be around nobody. And this, is, this has nothing to do with just... Uh, romantic relationships don't be around anybody where you cannot be your hundred percent self like mm, i got that like, i actually had it on my list so since you said it let me go yeah, cross, just cross it, it out so if you feel like and i've been there before and um you ever feel like it's a one-sided relationship with a friend or just a acquaintance where it's really all about them and what they want to do, how they've been doing. And, you know, you just feel like this is just one part where you feel like you just can't, um, I don't want to say load off, but you just, you know, you, you can't, you can't confide share. In them. Yeah. You can't confide. Yep. You can't find, you can't share good news. Um, oh, you can't share yeah. good news. Oh, you can't share good news. It, you know, if you invite them somewhere, they may not want to show up, but they but be caught be dragging you and calling you because you to go to for what they gotta do. Or um let me tell you about my problems and you, you know, um you just a so, dump site for them. Like you right. they dumping all the emotions they yeah. feel on you, but yeah. you, it's not reciprocal. Like I can't right. call you. Right. Right. I can't I can't say, right. hey, I'm going through this right. friend. Right. Cause yeah. you either gotta go or you ain't gonna answer your phone or girl, hey, girl, let me call you back. Or just yeah, that that oof. I don't like, I don't like that. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't like I'm like that. Like that. I don't like that. I, yeah, I got so, you. Yeah. Yeah. So we ain't doing yeah. no, um, yeah. Cause when you spilling off all your good stuff and then I mentioned something and you just go right past that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. Um, and so the same for a romantic relationship, like, yo, you have to, Ooh, yeah, I got something. Um, not share who you are, like if you a jokester or if you Ooh. a person who has like get out my um, notes, Joy. I know, right? Get out your head. Um, if you a free person, if you like to, if you can have um, what's the word? Organic relationships with anybody, mm-hmm. um, because you are just a people person, right? And you feel like you can't share yourself or be yourself because the other person gonna feel a certain way about it. Or react a certain way about it, or make you feel a certain way about it, girl, baby, yep. Joy, satin dog, get about it there. Woo! Let me tell you what I got right here. Close know when to leave. <laughs> Take away, girl. No, like that was my next thing mm. when I was gonna go into relationships. No when to leave. No, no when to hold them. No when to hold them. No, when- no, no when it's it's, mm-hmm. it's time. When time to not exit. just ro- not just romantic relationships. Yeah, any yep. type of relationship. Yep. No when yep. to leave. Yep. Even a blood relationship because guess hey. what? Well, guess what I've learned over these years. Mm-hmm. Family ain't always blood, and blood ain't always mm-hmm. family. Mm-hmm. I, I think I heard it on a movie recently, Lord. Yeah, yeah, that's true though. 
So no one That's to true. leave, no one yep. to exit stage left for certain yeah. type of, you know, relationships. Mm -hmm. Even if it's with a, if it's with a man, you yeah. know, no one is over with. It's, mm -hmm. it's you've done what you've done. You said your piece. Mm -hmm. it, it, we've struggled. We've we've yep. been through. You know, no one to leave. Yep. Um, it's all about protect, and we say that because I guess this protecting is a new buzzword, but protecting your heart, protecting your peace. Um, part of leaving, part of part of knowing when to say, yep, do yep. And I, I really hope that I can instill that in my kids. Not yeah. there ain't even just relationship, you know, friendship, mm -hmm. yep. family, family, hell, um, job, <laughs> job, no one is over no when, one is yeah. no one to say RIP is over. Yep. I I I it's yep. done. No no how, one yeah. know how to leave, know how to, you know, let that go. Yep. And, and you up. don't oh, go, ahead. go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say and it's not necessarily you know how people be like, oh, I, <laughs> do they still do this? Oh, uh, what's the new year? I'm cutting some people out of my you know life. Me. Some of y'all ain't gonna be able to give listen. <laughs> listen, my circle so little. Okay. Lil, my Lil. circle's so small okay. and, and, and I, I got rid of that baggage and that negativity years long what, my, what I was going to say long years ago so I don't need to I don't, know who, I don't know who these folks hanging out with, with every, every year, year they got year. to share right. Right. who you hanging with right. who, who's your look people? at yourself turn the finger this way please Turn the finger. You this should not way. have to. You should not have to make not that announcement that. every nope. year. Every year, because something right. Some, there's you. a problem. There's a problem. There's a problem. We no, you say. I ain't got this on my list, but that just brought me to something else. Mm -hmm. No one to look in the mirror and say, "Self, myself said, huh? Uh huh?" I said, "Self, myself said, huh?" No one, you the problem. Mm -hmm. No one there's an issue with you. Mm -hmm. No one out. there's no one there's no no one you need to. Mm -hmm. Check yourself. Mm -hmm. No one you need to just say self. Hey, you're hey, doing girl, the most. Go, girl, yeah. hey, girl. Hey, girl. Sit down. Don't be by okay. yourself. Figure this thing now. out. Yeah. No, uh, spend some time alone mm -hmm. with your thoughts, with your notes, with your God, yep. and your words, yep. and your prayers and your thoughts. Yep. Spend some time alone to yourself. Those mm -hmm. are, that's vital and important. I still live by that today. I learned that a long time mm -hmm. ago. And I live by that. Yeah. Be open and be honest. Be open, be honest with your significant other. And it's okay to say how you feel in those relationships. It's okay to say you know, stop being so passive. Stop just allowing things Ooh. to happen. Ooh. Stop, stop, you know, stop just being okay with somebody else, you know, telling you about you. They wouldn't, okay, Girl, I, don't, I, I don't like, I don't like when you said this to me. I didn't like how you did this. This is your reaction when I said this. I, I don't, speak up, speak mm -hmm. up. Now I tell mm -hmm. my kids this all the time. Speak up, speak, for, mm -hmm. speak up for yourself because nobody's going to be able to protect you and to speak for you but you but you mm -hmm. speak up for yourself you know how mm -hmm. you feel in that moment and you know how somebody else make you feel speak up for yourself mm -hmm. stand up for yourself don't be a pushover don't be a pushover right because then that like causes internal infliction where you're like what's the word i was gonna say y'all know i do this all the time sorry folks um resentment Vitamin. where you create resentment and you didn't have to create that. Just let it flow. Like, speak your peace. Um, yeah. Little Joy. Baby Joy. Baby girl. girl. Baby girl. Guess what, girl? Guess what, girl? You ain't going to marry no rich man. He ain't going <laughs> to be wealthy, girl. You ain't about to be sitting at home with your bonbons, with your feet up, going to the so store. Do work. <laughs> yes. Girl, you ain't about to marry no rich, rich billionaire million you ain't doing that girl I am. <laughs> she still might she still might now she still she might. might be on the verge she but, might be on the verge of millionaire, millionaire you need to you need to get you together figure yeah. out what you love and enjoy doing and do that and do that and then don't let nobody tell you your dreams ain't gonna i was gonna say no man not gonna flourish not gonna make no money <laughs> don't let nobody tell you your dreams ain't gonna make you no money um if it makes you happy do that yeah like so because i'm now my mama now i don't know if your mama told you this but mama she ain't she ain't watching um even if she is it's okay she gonna say she ain't say it but she said it um because what did i say 
I forget what I said, but she was like, well, you you better marry you a rich man. And it probably was something like, I don't want to work or or I want this. But like, why couldn't it be a girl? Well, then you better do what you need to do for you so you can supply mm-hmm. that stuff for yourself. Yeah. 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 Like, I wasn't saying I needed a man and I want him to take care of me. That ain't never come out my mouth. But you know, but, it comes with, it comes with age. It comes with, <laughs> not age, but it comes with um the generation. That, yeah. It's, that's a generational thing, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. That's a generational thing. I know. Let me think. I, 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 I got a good one. Mm-hmm. Two things. This is all about self confidence, though. Yeah. And it kind of it kind of piggyback on what I said earlier, but self confidence is everything. Everything. But mm-hmm. be equally as humble. Girl, I just I just read a I just I had a little devotion about that. Really, be equally as humble. Yesterday, yes, you can be confident. You can, mm-hmm. you can exude the confidence. You can walk mm-hmm. across the room and people just see, oh my gosh, she's so confident. Mm-hmm. You can be confident mm-hmm. while also being mm-hmm. humble in that yep. in that same vein. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because yep. humility is everything too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just as equally as confidence. Mm-hmm. You want to be well rounded, mm-hmm. and when I say well rounded, not just you know of the world. Of you know, you want to be well rounded in, in everything. You want people to be say, you want people to say, Oh yeah, she's a not only is she a beautiful girl, but she's a beautiful person on the inside. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. um I struggle, not struggle, but that is something that kind of came up before for me. Like, With confidence? No, I've I've oh. always had a confidence, but like I Can said, being that co- being that cocky confident, Ooh. like. Like your shit don't stain. Well, you was that girl. I could have. I I I could have. There's a thin line between that. Well, it was yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. And forgive, forgive faster, but don't forget, boo. Forgive faster, cause I'm a grudge holder. Oh. I I don't want to be a grudge no. holder, but I'm you a grudge, grudge holder. Girl. I, yes, you girl. I'm not getting the money. You like? I don't girl. like. I don't like her. Why you don't like her? I forgot. But I know I don't like her. You don't even know what you don't like the person. You don't know what you don't like her for. Forgive folks. You ain't got to ever forget. You don't have to ever forget because as long as you remember that person that can't cross you the same way again. But forgive and move on because you harboring that hurt and hate. <laughs> They're hurt and hate in your chest and they done moved on with their life. Yeah. Like you said, manage, manage the people. Manage people in your life, like manage them. Them, and yeah. don't let them manage you. Don't, yeah, just manage the people that's in your life. Yeah. Like, um, you guys, I, I'm, I, I, I pretty much tapped out on like my list. Yeah, um, I think that's good. Yeah, so you know, Girlfriend, I got. Let us know about some. If y'all have ever spoken to yourself, or is that something that you've learned? about yourself or that you wish that you can tell your 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 younger self that um you know something you live through mm-hmm. something you've uh look at it i got this my um work your pc in today girl. Girl. like i'm a telemark like you taking orders at the drive through um yeah comment below on um what would you tell your younger self yeah um comment below also comment below and email us we'll get the email up but um of show topics that you may want us to cover we welcome 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 it all um yeah hit us up on um what is it what's in my cup 2020 at gmail mm-hmm, what's, what's in my cup what in my cup yeah what's in my cup 2020 at gmail.com um yeah this is good this is freeing this mm-hmm. is freeing i think um what we should do and uh, we invite we invite our girlfriends to and we encourage them to you know go ahead and write your list to yourself, and then because like we said hindsight is twenty twenty and we can't mm-hmm. go back in time and relive those things and mm-hmm. of course if we did it would have changed the outcome or the tra- trajectory of where we're going now that word you know um and once you write it write it down rip it up rip rip it out tear it up throw it away because guess what that's done. That ship sailed. There's none. That done. Carnival Cruise and left. I don't like Carnival. Can we do Royal Caribbean instead? Hey, Disney. That's Disney. top of the top right Disney there. My favorite. Disney, my yeah, favorite. Yeah, like, I go in there without the kids. Like, hey, y'all ain't coming. 
huh, huh. I wish somebody now. I wish somebody told me that. Well, I went on out with my kids. I was like, wait a minute. Right, wait a minute. Hold Tell on. me what I was here without that chilling. Y'all should have told, y'all should have told yeah, me. You should tell me. It's a party. It's a party. Like, mm-hmm, y'all ain't coming. Nope. Y'all should have told me. Next time I go, though, I, I, I'm going to know better. You, you, you know are. better, guess what you do. You do. You do. You do better. Y'all gonna better. You, right. you do better. Well, if all minds and hearts are clear. Yes. The joys of the church are open. <sighs> yes, they are. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> Those who are heavily burdened. <laughs> heavily laden. Is that what it's <laughs> But we appreciate you returning. Uh, we appreciate you staying through to the end. Yeah. Um, yeah, stick and stay around. And also, um, to help spread the love and just spread the good news and <laughs> to just share our community, please subscribe, like, um, yeah. share this, share, share, comment, talk to us. We comment. really like that. We really like that. Yeah. yeah, that banter, that feedback. So please yeah. reach out. Let us know what's what. Please, yeah. we, don't we, don't be scared. We encourage that. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I ain't, I ain't scared. Don't be scared. Yeah, I ain't never scared. But um, until next time. We love y'all. Bye. Love you. Bye.